everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily card reading for May 30th, 2021. I'm sitting here laughing. I'm like, these are some of the weirdest messages to come through. And I'll be very honest, as a reader, I don't know what they mean. I don't. We're, I'm A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay, maybe this is what it means. All of these things are happening. We're catching, we were getting a little bit of a message yesterday about us catching ourselves being hypocrites. Uh, I was kind of, you know, tiptoeing around that, but every single one of us does it, okay? We're like, no, like, I, I, I'm going to go off and do whatever I want, but wait, what are, what are you doing, right? It's that kind of thing. So this is balancing. We see the scales here, and they're very balanced out. This is Libra energy as well. So it's a new start. And it says a new romantic cycle begins, but and that could be the case for a lot of people out there, but it doesn't feel like it's this outward beginning of a relationship necessarily. What it feels like is the new romantic cycle starts with a new attitude, a new emotional experience, seeing yourself differently, okay? And show the world the real you from yesterday. That was yesterday. I'm sitting here recording them one after another. You would think that I would remember. Anyway, <laughs> you know, show the world the real you. When you're coming from a more authentic place and you're in that authentic vibration, now you can be a match for someone who's on that level. It doesn't mean your level's better than everybody else's level. It just means you understand each other, okay? But this also has to do with uh, love in general. I know this says romantic, but they're spreading that message out a little bit more and say, no, this is about, you know, having more compassion for one another. Again, taking a new approach, laying down some old habits of I'm so insecure. You know, okay, listen, I, I got to... I don't think I've ever used this example, but I have never understood women who go into their boyfriend's phone to see who they're talking to. I don't get it. Uh, you do whatever you're going to do. God sees everything. If I suspect that I'm not being treated correctly, I'm going to get out of it. I don't need to know what you're doing in your phone. That is that kind of thing where you might, just as an example, you might catch yourself going, you know, I put a lot of energy into wondering what someone else is doing. Why? Because I got to know. Why are you so controlling? Why are you paranoid? Because you don't trust them. And you don't trust yourself either. You don't trust yourself to be able to handle a hurt. And so you try to control the situation to prevent the hurt. Maybe you realize, maybe this is your new romantic cycle. That's not how this goes. I'm going to go into something. I'm going to get to know somebody, you know, slowly. <laughs> All right. And again, you could apply this message to anything. I'm going to get to know this company a little bit slowly. I'm going to feel it out. I'm not going to get too excited. There's always a trial period when you start a new job, right? It's the same kind of thing or friends or whatever. I'm going to feel this out. And if I feel like I'm not in a healthy dynamic here, I can leave. I'm going to trust myself to be able to handle whatever comes my way. I have that kind of strength. So I don't have to live on the defensive. I don't have to live controlling everyone and everything with my judgments to keep them in place. Ugh, I don't know about this place. Ugh. I don't know. My boyfriend's being awfully sketchy. I'm going to look at his phone. And what? And what are you going to do if you find out he's an idiot? <laughs> Sorry, but what are you going to do? Are you going to fight this? Are you going to fight the girl, the other woman? Nah, you wake up. Okay, if something's not good, you just go, not good. Boom, bye. Okay, and you, you move on <laughs> to something. But why do people stay in situations like that? Now, you might have, you know, some time invested or whatever. Um, or it could be that you don't think you deserve any better. And maybe you think that you can control, but the whole idea here, the whole new romantic cycle is learning when it's right, I don't have to control anything. I can work with someone. We understand each other. We love each other. There is no want to betray each other. Why do people cheat? They need validation. It's really the saddest thing a human being could do. Because otherwise, why wouldn't, if you're not happy in a relationship, as I've been saying, why wouldn't you just go, okay, you know, I don't think this is working out, and then go off and explore? Why do you need all, some of, some of it's narcissistic supply, okay, some of it's that, 
or it's just somebody who just doesn't feel loved <laughs> and they're going off and just trying to get attention, right? Am I okay? Okay, I feel validated now that this has happened. I mean, these are just a couple of examples of probably why people do that, but either way, it's not healthy. Get on that new healthy track. Let that be your new cycle, okay? So we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.